down to the 31 second point. And that's when the computers actually take over. Because we're not going to be processing faster than a human being in the world. And if everything still looks good at C0, the uh, signals are sent, the hold down post explosive nuts are blown apart, releasing the solid rocket boosters, and we have 70 million pounds of thrust to start the trip in the world.
But even though computers would handle most launch operations, there's still going to be about 200 engineers and technicians inside on launch day. We maintain control of this shuttle until about the time it clears the tower. At that point, we transfer it over to Mission Control in Houston, Texas. Up ahead, we're going to come up beside the crawler way. That's the road that we used to move the shuttle out to the pad. It's about the width of an eight-lane highway, and they had to dig that down about seven feet, build it back in with various layers of fill, finally putting river rock up on top. They chose river rock because it's smooth. It acts like ball bearings to cushion the ride of the crawler, and it doesn't spark. When that crawler does go through, it pretty well pulverizes the top layers. This has to be regraded after every trip. We've got a nice video to show you that crawler in operation. Some of these light poles that it was on a right bird's nest up there, bird on top. Those are osprey, fish hogs.